Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com, and today I want to show you five strumming patterns that'll work in pretty much 90 to 95 percent of songs. You know, and I've noticed in a lot of videos with a title like this, the strumming patterns, you know, they're obviously really good ones that you're going to find a lot, but are they going to work for any song? You know, I wanted to do something different, so I looked through every single one of my about 350 song tutorials here on my YouTube channel, and I put it all into a spreadsheet so that I could bring you the five most common patterns based on real data that you're going to be able to play pretty much any song with. And when it comes to the rest of the songs, you know, like the other five to 10%, I'm going to show you a trick next time in the next lesson where you can take these patterns and go to the next level with them, you know, and be able to do literally everything else. So be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified when that one comes out. Anyways, on to our lesson. I want to start off with the simplest thing that literally anybody can do. And I don't want you to overlook this because one, it's actually one of the most useful patterns. And two, it's going to give us one essential skill. The pattern is just four downstrokes, just counting to four. One, two, three, four. Here, I'll mute the strings. I'll do it with muted strings. Two, three, four. And that's, you know, ridiculously simple. But there's something to the untrained ear that you might overlook, and that is dynamics. We can play some of these strokes quietly and some of them with a bit more oomph. And all I'm doing there is just aiming for different strings. You know, it's it's all down strokes, but I'll aim at the lower strings for like a bassier sound and the higher strings for a thinner sound, you know? And when you do it that way, we can turn the simplest thing that everybody who ever has strummed a guitar can do into something with feeling. And there's two ways that I want you to do it. If we emphasize the strokes on beat one and three like this, It creates a driving beat that's going to cover like half the songs out there, you know, like um, Imagine there's no heaven. or um, Hold me closer, tiny dance. While the headlights on the highway. So that's emphasizing beat one and three. Now, if we emphasize the other beats, two and four, you get a totally different feeling called a backbeat, like um, country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Or um, purple haze all in my brain. And it's important that you keep it simple. Just load up some tunes, count along, and see which one of those two dynamic patterns fits the song. And that's the best way to start tapping into the music. A trap that people fall into is they try to jump into the more advanced patterns right away, but no matter how hard they try, it never sounds quite right. And that's because they don't take the time to do this, to tap into the groove of a song. And once you get that, the rest of the stuff will just kind of come together, you know, so this will help you avoid that trap. Anyways, we're going to move on and take a look at our second strumming pattern. And this is down, root, down, down, up. And root is just a little downstroke that hits the thicker strings. You know, it's adding some dynamics to an otherwise very simple pattern. If we look at the strokes, we have a downstroke on one and then a root on beat two, which is just a small downstroke. And then a downstroke on beat three. So this is like, like one of the patterns that we just practiced, except we're adding a down up at the very end on beat four. And when it comes to the mechanics of strumming, I've gone over this so many times. So I'm going to put a link to the corner uh, if you need extra help with like really breaking down these patterns. But for now, I just want to show you the patterns. This one, down, root, down, down, up. And we can play um, Come and Get Your Love. What's 
the matter with you? Uh, High and Dry by Radiohead. Two jumps in a week, I bet you think that's pretty clever, don't you boy? The next pattern, and this is one that everybody needs to know, is the most common strumming pattern ever. That's down, down, up, up, down, up. And when you're working on it, you want to just mute the strings and say the strokes. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Miss, up, down, up. You know, you can even break it down and go like, down, down, up, three, four. Down and just keep doing the first half and counting three, four instead of playing the second half. Then you flip that around. One, two, miss, up, down, up. One, two, miss, up, down, up. And once again, you know, I have lessons for all this stuff like individually. There's a lesson dedicated to this pattern. I'll put a link to that one in the corner. Anyways, it's the most common strumming pattern ever. So I could just pick random songs off the top of my head. It's probably gonna fit. Uh, leaving on, the, on a jet plane. All my bags are packed up. Ready to go, I'm standing here outside your door. Or Other Side by Red Hot Chili Peppers. How long, how long will I slide and separate my side? And I do have all these songs, lessons for all these songs as well, you know, because that's where I got these patterns from, was looking through all the songs that I've already taught. So uh, there's going to be a big list of stuff down below for you to work on. Um, anyways, the next pattern that I want to show you, it goes like this. And that one is root, down, miss, up, down, up. So we're kind of using like the same second half as that pattern we just learned, but we're starting it off root down. And, you know, you once again, you just work on it a bit at a time. I have a lesson for it separately, but you know, root down, miss up, down, up. And this one's really good for like country and blues stuff. Like, uh, you know, the Rolling Stones are a really bluesy band. Satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction. And we're doing it at like a medium tempo there. And the cool thing with strumming patterns is if you play it slow or you play it fast, it kind of sounds like a totally different pattern. Like if we did um, Ooh La La. I wish that I know what I know now. When I was younger, I wish that I knew what I know now. When I was stronger. You know, it sounds totally different when you speed it up, right? And when you add that swing to it. Yeah, so that's a super useful pattern. The last one that I want to show you this one is in 6-8 time. It goes... And, you know, it's just downstrokes only. We're kind of going back to where we started, where we're just playing downstrokes. But the beat is different here. You know, we, we're counting one and a, two and a. And that's it. And on the numbers, we play a bigger downstroke. So one and... Two and up. You know, most songs we count to four, but sometimes we got to do this type of counting, which is called six, eight, one and a, two and a, gives us like six little pieces of rhythm. And, um, you know, this is useful for tons of stuff like. Or, um, there is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And that is the five patterns that I promised, but I kind of want to give you a bonus one. If you take that same idea, one and a, two and a, and you keep going, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, that's 12 counts. That's 12, eight time. Uh, you know, so it's like, I met a girl so sweet, darling. Just dive right in, follow my lead. 
or uh, you know, there's a ton of songs that use 12 eight time, especially the blues. You could emphasize two and four. So we're really like kind of adding up what we've already done. You take one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. You know, and that gives you that like super classic blues shuffle feel. And really it, it just comes down to knowing how to count these songs. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm showing you the counting because that's probably more important than the strumming, to be honest. Now I have one last pattern for you, just because I realized we haven't done anything in three, four time where we count one and two and three and, and you are going to run into some tunes that use it. And I have two patterns that cover pretty much everything. Um, there's down, down, up, down. So we do a downstroke on beat one, then a down up on two and a downstroke on three. So it's a pretty straightforward pattern. One and two and three and down and down up down. And you know, that's a great one for Tennessee whiskey. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Or, um, where did you sleep last night? You know, a lot of older songs are in three, four time. I find that newer tunes are all just like four, four, especially nowadays with pop music. But, um, where did you sleep last night? Like, uh, Kurt Cobain did an awesome cover of it. Like, my girl, my girl, don't lie to me. And tell me where did you sleep last night? And those are going to carry you through pretty much every tune. If you haven't done so yet, now's your chance to hit the subscribe button, get the latest lessons from my channel, including the sequel to this lesson, where I'm going to show you how to take these patterns and make a couple changes so that you can play pretty much everything else. And while you're down there, you might also want to take advantage of some freebies. I have an ebook, a crash course, and some other stuff. I'll put links for all that down below if you're interested in some quality materials to help you learn guitar better and faster. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing, and I'll see you soon.